Welcome to this week's Desmond's Donders Photo Diary. Why not join us on our Donders? It's windy. It's been wet. We're at New Aberdour Beach. Meeting up with Collie. And enjoying blowing the cobwebs out. New Aberdour Beach near the small 19th century planned village of New Aberdour, which lies just south of the Moray Firth coast, seven miles west of Fraserburgh. One of the earliest churches in Scotland is said to have been founded here in 580 AD by St Droston and St Columba. St Droston was the founder and abbot of the Monastery of Old Deer in Aberdeenshire. His relics were translated to the church at New Aberdour and his holy well lives and it lies nearby. Droston was one of the twelve companions who sailed from Ireland to Scotland around 563 AD with St Columba. These twelve became known as the Brethren of St Columba. He accompanied the saint when he visited Aberdour in Buchan. Jane White. On the 28th of October 1884, the SS William Hope was sailing from Fraserburgh to Burghead carrying only ballast. Caught off Troop Head by a shift in the wind in severe conditions, the captain headed into Aberdour Bay, where its steam engine failed and the anchor chain broke. When the wind and the ship was drifting towards rocks on shore, Jane White, wife of a farm worker, was walking her dog along the beach. White waded into the sea and caught a rope thrown towards her. Winding it around her waist, she pulled back to the shore and held it firmly while all 15 sailors struggled to reach land. She then gave them shelter overnight until they were able to return to Dundee. White was awarded the RNLI Silver Medal for outstanding bravery and a Board of Trade Award of Gallantry. With her £10 reward, she was able to purchase her rented croft, the ship itself, an iron fishing trawler built in 1882, was wrecked and sold to be broken up. Diary, 17th of January 2020. I picked Lindsay up from work and we headed off east to meet up with Colin. We had a fish supper on the way. Pitch black when we arrived at the park up, we found Colin still settling in. Kettle on and we had a copper while we caught up with all the events since our last meeting. There followed a couple of beers as we use up our New Year stock 
Again, all too soon, it was time to say goodnight and go to sleep before exploring in the daylight tomorrow. Eighteenth of January, twenty twenty. Up in time for breakfast. We spent the morning catching up with Colin some more and chatting about future plans. We went out to explore and see the new memorial to the local heroine. Then Lindsay and Colin explored further afield, and I listened to the radio. It still gets dark early, but we settled in for the evening with more chat and the obligatory dram. Nineteenth of January, twenty twenty. I got the RSGB news on four meters, but too far to hear anything on two meters. We explored some more, and on a better day than yesterday, weather-wise, I managed a short drone flight as well. Then it was time for a copper and time to say goodbye, but not before we had chatted to a local who was starting to wild camp in their bongo. Colin is moving back to England. Scotland will miss him.
wildlife, red fox, birds, herring gull, oyster catcher, rook, carrion crow, curlew, ida, jackdaw, hooded crow, black headed gull, golden eye, great black backed gull, cormorant, rock dog, blackbird, kittiwake, pheasant, robin, and magpie. Thank you for watching Desmond Stoners. We'll hope you'll join us again for more photos, waffle and video as we travel around Scotland. Bye for now.